Hello, my name is Ryan Harper, and today we're here in Jones County for our summer segment, Summer Ventures. And today we're going to be speaking with Stephanie Mills, the owner of Barefoot Kayak. She's going to take us on a little trip on the river, so let's take a look. I'm Stephanie Mills, and I run Barefoot Kayaks, LLC, um, uh, out of Trenton, North Carolina. Now, uh, what can you tell us about Barefoot Kayak? Barefoot Kayak started in 2015. Um, I had left active duty and decided to just give it a go and do something that I was passionate about. So I took about a year off from, from work or anything and just decided to dive into a kayak rental. And um, so in 2015 it started and we, we kept going from there. We took a break after Hurricane Florence, which is a lot of damage, um, but, but kept going afterwards, so. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when you're out and about mm -hmm. here, uh, like what sites did you see on the water? Uh, I know where we had like Bronx Pond and Trent River. Is mm -hmm. there any kind of fish, animals? Or um, some of the uh, more unusual things people see are, are deer swimming across the river, which is really fun. So um, that was actually a, a customer about a week ago um, saw a deer swimming across a fawn. Um, but you'll see snapping turtles, you'll see um, owls, you'll hear owls. Um, there are bear that live around here, and I've only heard of one person seeing a bear. Um, and you have to be very quiet for those. But um, you see those, you see a lot of fish jumping, and it's just a really cool place on, on the pond and on the river. Now, um, let's see. So when a person is um, out here on the kayaks, uh, what's something that they should be aware of? If there's any kind of hazards or how do you help guide them? Okay, so, um, so yeah, we there are hazards always when you're outdoor outdoor sports and things like that so um, i do let people know and, and a lot of people are already familiar with the fact that you know we do have alligators around here i've never seen them on the trent river but um, they exist so those there are snakes as well what i do tell customers and, and people that just want to kayak or kayak enthusiasts is to just stay stay away from the shore too close to, uh, stay away from the shore by probably five to ten feet um, don't go underneath branches and stay out of the little streams because that's where you're going to see a lot more of the wildlife as well um, but I mean everything has a little bit of a hazard to it um, which makes it exciting but I've not had any issues at all. <laughs> now um, what's the best time of season to come out on the water? So we're open year-round um, I would say the best time would be the spring and the fall and the summer as we can tell it is horribly muggy but it's also a lot of fun so uh, there is no off season most people kayak during the summer but we are open year round um, fall I love because when you're kayaking you'll have this mist over the water you have all the colors um, but there's this beautiful fog that people kayak through and uh, on the river so I recommend fall right. now um, what's something you want guests to know whenever they're booking here in Trenton or So when people reserve kayaks with us, we usually ask them where they want to go. So um, we'll ask, we, we work all of Jones County pretty much, um, mainly the Trent River and well, obviously the Trent River, but uh, Proxmo Pond as well. Um, what we usually ask is, you know, what's your experience level? What are you looking to do? If you're just wanting to paddle around for an hour or two, this is where we recommend Brox Pond. It's beautiful. It's a nice spot for beginners. Um, the Trent River as well is a good spot for beginners, but it's, um, it, you can go further and so if we have people that really want to go like three hours or more um, and have a little bit higher of experience level we send them on on the Trent River which which is also very beautiful we have that ADA compliant boat ramp down there as well well uh, that's it for me do you have any other questions no I think it's, it's it awesome well thank you so much yep yeah, of course there was one other thing um uh, I don't know if it if it matters but sure. um our business is really involved in the community, so a part of Barefoot Kayaks is to contribute and send back. So about 20% of our revenue so far has gone back to community pro programs. We like to partner with um, with with uh, nonprofits and with um, the local community, 4-H, and um, so we do a lot of events and provide either um, in-kind sponsorship through uh, raffles or through. Um, you know vouchers for kayaking or we we just donate as well so we're really big in the community and in um and uh environmental protection as well and preserving our resources so um huge plug for us there is you know get involved and, and